Hey, what's up everybody? It's the hyphen here. And today I'm going to show you guys how to install an SSD into your MSI Trident desktop. Now it's very important that this computer is completely off and that the power is disconnected from the tower. So when you open up the Trident on the right side, you'll see two different slots where you can install a 2.5 inch SSD. We're going to install our two terabyte hard drive on this one. So get a Phillips screwdriver, the one that has the cross, and we're going to end up taking off these three screws. Now the part that has the bevel sticking out, this is the outside, this is what faces you. The part that's indented is where the hard drive will go and then it's gonna face the inside. When you buy your Trident, included are these eight screws. Now you can see that these are a little longer. These are meant for these hard drive slots. Eight come in the box, you need four per slot. If you look at the back of your SSD, you'll see that there are four screws and now those four screws are gonna align with these little rubberized bushings here. Now remember the holder has three screws. The single screw goes on the top and we're gonna wanna make sure that the pins on the bottom of your SSD are facing downward. We're gonna wanna make sure that we align the holes on the holder to the holes on the SSD where the screws are gonna go in. Then go ahead and put the screws in and screw them on tight with a screwdriver. And then there you guys have it. The hard drive is on the actual holder. So here on this cable, you'll see two SATA ports. One of these is gonna go into this hard drive. And again, if you're mounting two, then the other one is gonna go into the other hard drive. So if you look closely at the bottom of your hard drive, you see that there are two different slots, one that's a little bit bigger, and then one that's a little bit smaller. Either one of these SATA cables is gonna go into that bigger spot. Push it in until it has a click to it. It should not feel loose at all. Also included in the box when you buy your Trident is this cable here. You actually get two of them. This is one for each hard drive. This cable goes behind these cables here. So you have to just pull these cables out. And then here you'll see two slots. To my knowledge, I don't think it matters which one you connect it to. Just make sure you look at the shape of the connector so that you match it when you push it in. You wanna make sure that you don't force it in the wrong way. Once you push it in, you should hear a little click and it should feel pretty secure. So then now we're gonna take this cable here and connect it to the bottom of the hard drive. Then that's pretty much it. Now we're just gonna go ahead and secure this back on with the three screws. Then we wanna make sure that any cables that are not in use are tucked away. All right, now that your hard drive's installed, turn on your computer, get everything launched, and now we're gonna have to activate the SSD. By default, the SSD is not gonna show up. So if we go to this PC, you'll see whatever hard drives are already currently installed, but the new one that I installed, which should be completely free and empty, which is a two terabyte SSD, it's not showing up here under this PC. We have to go into the settings to actually activate that SSD to this computer. Now we're gonna go to the start menu and go to the search bar. Now, if you have your search bar disabled like I do, it's not gonna pop up right here. You have to right click on it and then click on search. Now here, start to type in partition. Even before finishing the word, you'll see at the top under best match, you'll see create and format hard disk partitions, control panel, click on that. Now you should get this pop-up that says initialize disk. Depending on how many hard drives you've installed, you'll see them listed here. Here, since we have one new one, it says disk two with a little checkbox. And then under that, it says use the following partition style for the selected disks. Use GPT. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. Now your new hard drive should be towards the bottom and you should see the entire bar that says unallocated. And here you can see that it's my two terabyte hard drive. And we're gonna go ahead and click right here where it says unallocated. Now you'll see that there is a little grayed box over it. Now we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to new simple volume. And then here, we're gonna activate it. Go ahead and click on next. Do not adjust any of these values here. By default, it should give you the same amount of storage space that's available on your SSD. Go ahead and click on next. And then here, you can assign a drive letter. So whatever you want it to be, you can go ahead and choose from the drop down menu. Because I have quite a few external hard drives that I generally connect on a consistent basis that are within the A through J range, I'm gonna just go ahead and choose Q, something further away, and then click on next. Now it is gonna give you the default file type that it recommends. I suggest keeping everything the same, but you can change your volume label. So you can change the name of this SSD. 
I'm just going to call this storage. Click next, then it gives you your summary. Click finish. And then now you'll see that this black bar has now changed to blue. And then you'll get this little pop up letting you know that your storage queue is now available. And it asks if you want to choose what happens with the removable drives. Don't mess with that. You can go ahead and X that out. Now we're going to go to this PC and you'll see the new SSD, your new hard drive is now set up and ready to go. So there you guys have it. That's how you install an additional SSD into your MSI Trident desktop PC. If you guys are interested in getting this computer and or the SSD that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.